What's going on YouTube fam? Mikey here, shooting another high adventure video. In the last video, somebody complained that I did not throw up the finger of high adventure. So that was for you, you're welcome. So in today's video, we are going to be hunting for trout and one of Idaho's best kept secrets, wild pickles. Everybody thinks that we are known for the potatoes here in Idaho, which is true, we are, but one of our best kept secrets are our wild pickles that grow out here in the countryside. Before I show you guys how to forage and find those though, let's get fishing, let's get our trout first off. Let's get started. All right, back in the saddle again. Love this spot. This came out of a trout that I caught in another video and I didn't want to waste him. So I thought, hey, I'm going to try using him as bait. So we're going to thread it on our little hook right here and give these a try. And I've got this hook on a bobber that's set to about four feet in depth. I've never done this before, but they feel they're supposed to be dry and kind of sticky. And they definitely feel that way. I feel like they'll stay on the hook pretty good anyway. We'll find out here in a minute. There you guys go, right there. Nice little blob of eggs. Seems pretty sticky on the hook there. Seems like it'll stay on pretty well. We're gonna toss that into some waterfalls and let's see what we can do. These are the waterfalls I'm fishing. You guys could see some suckers, some carp down there, but I know there are some big trout that hang in down there. We're just gonna take it nice and easy. Drop it right in up here. Let the current float our bobber down. Hopefully those trout are just sitting in this current. That carp's checking my bobber out. Oh, there's a bite. Got him. Yes, on the eggs. Woohoo! Trout. I was getting a little worried there. It's been about 15 minutes. Yippee! All right. I've been sitting on this ledge here to get up. Success, guys. Let's grab our net. Not gonna lie, I brought worms as well, just in case my egg curing process didn't go the way I had hoped because I don't trust myself. I've never done it before. Woo. But it looks like we didn't do too shabby. At least for this trout, it was good enough. Not, not a piggy by any stretch, but he's a keeper. Look at that. Gobbled those eggs right up. Boom! Oh, that's a pretty green trout. Check that out. Look how green. I don't know if that's gonna show up on camera or not, but he's super green on the top. Nice little, probably about 12 and a half inches. That's a good way to start the day on that row. Not only was that trout able to feed me in that other video, but it also was able to feed me today. That's the ultimate recycling right there, guys. Oh, there it goes. Oh, something's got it. Got him. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is, wait, what is this? I think I have a sucker. Do I have a sucker? I might have a sucker or a carp. Ah, oh, man. I can't tell what this is yet. Yeah, it's a sucker fish. You bum. Ah. Lame-o. Not the right species. Dude, I'm surprised you could fit your suckery little mouth around that. Jeez. Come here, you. All right. Get out of here. Those mouths are so rubbery. Sometimes it can be difficult to get that hook out. There we go. He's probably like, I don't know, pound and a half, but not what I want. Take another chunk off of this. Man, I cured that really well. That's awesome. That's so cool to do something for the first time and actually be successful at it. Nice and sticky. It's everything they described it should be. Sticky, dry, so it stays on the hook. Here we go. Down she goes. Oh, there's a bite. There's a boy. Oh, oh, I think. Come on, come on. Something's got it. Got him. Yeah, another trout. On the row. That's two for me. And they're just eating it up. Like, like they don't even, it's not even a doubt in their mind. That's awesome. 
That is awesome. Where's my net? There it is. Let's go down and pack another piggy in. Not a monstro, but we do have some sturgeon bait now. Come here, you. There we go. That's a nice fish, like probably 12 and a half inches or so. Look at that. He's got a big old hole in the top of him. That is crazy. You know, that just goes to show everybody's always like, oh my gosh, you have to be so careful. Those trout are so finicky. This guy literally has a massive hole in the top of him. And look, it actually went all the way through. You can see it's on his side and he's still alive. Still alive, still kicking, still eating. So maybe everywhere else in the world, people have finicky trout, but here in Idaho, our trout are a pretty hardy bunch. There we go, guys. That's not a bad looking stringer right there. Not a bad way to start the day at all. We'll get them down in the water here. All right, guys, I've thrown my waders on because hopefully here in just a little bit, we'll be throwing some sturgeon fishing down and I'll have to wade into water to grab some of these big fish. But also what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna start wading around in this little creek back here, hunting for our wild pickles. A couple things you need to know about harvesting pickles. February and March, which is the time of year we're in right now, is the best time to pick these type of pickles. April through June, it is off limits. It is illegal to harvest pickles that time of year because it's pollinating season and they just don't want you to be picking them while they're pollinating, which makes sense. Actually, I think there's like a $2,000 fine or something like that if they catch you harvesting pickles from April through June. The rest of the year, they start to get really big and some people like them at that size. Personally, for me, I think when they're young and tender like they are at this time of year, it's the perfect time to hunt for them. But people will still hunt for them like in the fall and in the summertime. And here, let me show you what we're looking at here. You see this stream behind me. This is what you wanna look for. Any kind of little freshwater stream this time of year in Idaho that's running, obviously you can see it running down into the main river. You wanna look for little streams like this because this is where they're gonna start popping up. I've hunted this area before, so I know, or at least there should be some good ones in here, but let's go take a look. So I'm just looking like in little cracks and crevices like this along the stream bank. In there, nothing there. And there are def a defining color like, oh, see, look, look, here's one, here's one, here's one, check this out. Look, see that right there? Right there, so what you wanna do, we found that that's a perfect size, is you break it off, then that way you leave the root in there so it'll continue to grow next year. You just pull that stem right out, see that's flowered out. That's exactly what we're after right there. That is the perfect size pickle. Check that out, guys. That is our first fresh pickle of 2020, right from this little stream bed right down there and the great thing about these is you can just pop them you can just eat them just like this oh got a tang to it that is a pickle picked at the peak of freshness right there no better time of year than february and march to go out pickle hunting let's go see if we can find some more it's a good sign we found one so early should mean that there's going to be some more out here oh check this out check this out Look at this, look at that. Oh, we got a little cluster. Look at this, a little cluster right here. Look at that. All right, we're gonna break that stem off. There we go, just like that. There's one. Pull them right off, we just toss the stem, left the root in. Look at that, we've got two more. Two more right here. There we go, toss that stem. Look at that. Oh, those are decent size too. Got another one right here. There we go. Look at that, there's a nice little cluster right there, guys. That is exactly what we want. Let's see if we can get a nice big batch of these and we'll be frying up some pickles with our trout today. Oh, I see one over here, I see another one. Look at that, man, they are really out. Nobody's, nobody's hunted this area yet. There we go, It's another one. There's four and we've eaten one. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just keep working this area, we're gonna make our way up we're gonna get us a nice batch of those. Sweet. <laughs> Check this out, gang. It has been a good first hunt of pickles. We got a nice batch. Now what I, you see I've done is I've actually put them on a paper towel and I'm gonna leave them out for about an hour or so because I want them to dry out just a little bit. I'm also gonna dab them here with my paper towel because I want them to dry out a little bit so we can fry them. I'm gonna be deep frying these in a Cajun seasoning today. So we can have fresh riverside pickles and Cajun seasoning. And drying these pickles out is gonna help 
our batter stick to them. So then when we go to fry them, that batter, we've got a nice coating on those pickles. Nice and cold outside, so we're just gonna leave that out just like that. Don't have to worry about bugs this time of year, but that is a nice batch of pickles straight off of the river. All right, so we got a nice fire going. Now, over here, we've got our sturgeon rod ready. I've got a nice bit of chunk of fresh trout. That always seems to work well. Barbless hook is always for those sturgeon. Let's send it. Here we go. Send it. I take that, that's not bad. Reel up the slack. All right. We'll see what happens. So, I'm just going to give it a second. There are still trout hitting the surface around my bobber. I must have lost my bait. There's a little, there must be a little school. Alright, something's still messing with the bait down there just felt a really gentle tap last time I was here I caught a, a, um, a big old carp I never actually brought it in so I didn't technically didn't catch it but I but I was really disappointed because I've never had carp eat cut bait before I'm waiting for a good thump seems like they're sturgeon when they bite it it's like a bump because they suck it up into their mouth and it's a good solid thump all right, gang, I just pulled my sturgeon rod up and all the bait was gone. So I did have a decent bite, something big enough to take all that bait off. However, before I go ahead and throw it back out, we're gonna go ahead and throw down this pretty sweet recipe that I have today. We're gonna go ahead and get cooking. I've got my fire going here. I've got my nice little grill grate. Again, everything you see in these videos, I'm gonna have links to them in the description below. We're going to get our trout prepped and put on a skillet there. And then it is a little bit breezy out here. So I kind of tucked my little cooker um, back in a little corner in these rocks here so it'll stay out of the wind. This is where we're gonna fry up those fresh wild pickles. Let me show you guys how we're gonna do that today. So first thing I'm gonna do is get the trout cleaned. If you don't wanna watch this, I'm gonna put um, a little pop-up right here that's gonna show you what to skip to so you don't have to watch me clean the trout because I know some people don't care for that kind of thing. However, if you wanna check it out, keep watching. All right, so first things first, the trout is dead, just to make that clear. I've hit him over the head with a watt rock. We start from the rear, and I'm going to cut up. And this is just going to be a kind of a pretty quick way of cleaning him. Cut him open, take all the entrails out. It's nice having a little stream right here because I can just clean all the insides out. Everything just floats right away. So that's what he looks like, all scored up. I just leave the head on. Makes for easy cooking. Let's go ahead and get him in the skillet. All right, we've got a nice little flame right over here, so we'll go ahead and set our skillet right there. Got our trout ready to go. Set them on that side. All right, I'm going to take my little handy-dandy, like, Swiss Army knife tool here, again, in the description. We'll go ahead and cut off some butter into our skillet. There we go. Now, for convenience's sake, I've put a little Yoshida sauce. It's a teriyaki marinade. I believe it's a Japanese teriyaki marinade in a little wine cooler so make it portable i'm gonna go ahead and pour some in there we'll go ahead and lay our fish in that just like so then we'll pour some more yoshitas right over the top of it nice then throw down a little salt and pepper nice and simple don't have to get too crazy we'll just let that cook all right guys now we're going to cook up our fresh wild pickles. First, we start off with some vegetable oil. Again, this whole little cooking setup. It have links to everything in the description below. This is just some nice vegetable oil. Next, while we let that heat up, I'm going to go ahead and make my wash for my pickles, which consists of one egg, gently cracked, along with a little milk, just a little bit. There we go. We'll go ahead and set our wash to the side. 
Next, I have a bag of flour, and this is where we're gonna get the Cajun pickles. We're gonna first add garlic powder, a liberal dose. Next, we're gonna add some salt, pepper. Now, for my Cajun seasoning, I'm gonna go Cajun's Choice Blackened Seasoning. It gives the pickles kind of a smoky flavor. And we're gonna add a nice portion of that in here. Then for our Cajun seasoning, I've got Kingsford Cajun style, all purpose spicy seasoning. And we'll also go ahead and add quite a bit of that in there as well. Mix it all together good. And then that's gonna coat our pickles. What we're gonna do is we'll have everything close by. And we're gonna dredge our pickles through our wash. Through our wash like that. And then we'll just toss them right in our bag of seasonings. Normally what I've done with like fish and stuff, you can bread them up really quickly and then throw them in the pan, in the fryer I should say, with the oil. But with these guys, we're gonna coat them up, mix them around in there, and then what I'm gonna do, actually those pickles will absorb that breading. And so you have to let them absorb it for a few minutes or else then you won't have much breading on the pickles. And then they just have like this like weak sauce, a little bit of breading on it. And it's kind of like, well, I guess they're technically fried, but not a lot of breading. So we're gonna move all that in there, all those pickles in there and all our seasoning and flour. And we'll kind of let it just sit in there for a few minutes, move it around again, then we'll take them out and toss them in the fryer. Look at that guys, trout is cooking up nicely in the marinade. Next, I think it's time to go ahead and get our pickles going. All right, let's flick a little flour. Oh yeah, that's ready to go. Now let's go ahead and go fishing for our little wild pickles. You see how that's coated? That's perfect. Toss those in. We'll get them all in there. Look at that. All our pickles are in. Those shouldn't take too long to cook. So we'll pull those off when they're nice golden brown, flip them once, and we will have some nice Cajun fried pickles. Get a load of that. That's a good looking trout right there. That's ready to come off, which is perfect timing because it looks like our pickles are also ready to come off. Let's pull everything off and get eaten. And of course, we've got another paper towel to let everything drain off. There you guys go, finished product, deep fried, fresh wild pickles right out here, right off the river. All right guys, check that out. Look at that, fresh trout, probably not wild, but the pickles are definitely wild. Look at that, fresh, Cajun. I'm gonna stop talking about it. Oh yeah, got that fresh Riverside dill flavor. Picked up that Cajun seasoning so well. Oh look, got a little teriyaki on that one. I tell you what, it doesn't get any better than fresh wild pickles right from the riverbank. Let's go ahead and tuck into some of this trout now. Look at that. Smells of a nice teriyaki. That's really good, super fresh. I've got some sauce in the bottom here that I can dredge it around in. Oh yeah. If you guys haven't tried teriyaki trout, like teriyaki with fish, or in this instance trout, it is a wang do home run. I'm, I guarantee you, you'll love it. All right, you guys, we're rigged back up. Send it! Ooh, like that cast. Guys, we're getting a bite, we're getting a bite. He's on. We got him. We got him. Yes, fish on. She doesn't feel big. Hopefully it's not a sucker. Come on, baby. She's trying to keep her off the bottom. Oh, there it is, yeah! Yeah! Been waiting all day, there we go. First one of 2020. Yeah! All right. I'm gonna let her just nice and easy. I don't want her to get caught up in the rocks. That's a pretty looking fish right there, guys. Yes. I just gotta get down there. Very difficult to do with just one person. All right, we're finally down here. A little bit of a chore. Look at that. <laughs> 
That's awesome. First one of the year. Here we go. Let's see if I can try to flip her over here. Yeah. There we go. Try to flip her over. That'll get her calmed down a little bit. Yeah, look at that. Woo. Perfect. Look, right in the bottom of the mouth. Keep her upside down to keep her calm. Look at that barbless hook. Pops right out. Let's measure her up against the rod. See about what kind of length we got. All right. To about, all right, to about this mark right here on the rod. Oh, guys, look at that. Not a bad first sturgeon of 2020. No record breaker or giganto, but finally got one after all those bites. That's a pretty looking fish, guys. That is absolutely gorgeous. When you can catch fish that are feet in length, that's pretty cool. Maybe we'll double up on the size. Coming out of that ice clear water. Ready to go. You good? Good? There you go. Yes! All right, gang, I ran across Cole and Juan while I was out here. Um, some subscribers, and they're out fishing. Guys, I'm actually surprised more people aren't out fishing today because yeah. it's a beautiful day yeah. uh, in the middle of winter. We don't usually get days like this, but they're going to try my Cajun pickle recipe and give you their honest review. Guys, go for it, man. Yeah. Now, on this one, guys, I also got some ranch as well in there, so feel free to dip it in. Dude, uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah. That got a little crispier than I had intended, mainly because I just missed a sturgeon, so they were in there for just a little bit longer. Juan, what do you think, man? I usually don't like pickle, but I like these. Dang, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. really good. Well, gang, sturgeon line's back out. I'm still eating fresh pickle chips. Hoping for another good bite. I gotta say, dipping these in ranch, I got a little ranch dressing here. Way delicious. That was a really good life choice. Mmm. Finicky. Got her, I think. Yep, got her. <laughs> Woohoo! Glad I had the rod because it just started to go. Ooh. Fish on, guys. Oh, nice. Wow, she just breached. Looked about the same size as the last one. Might be a little bigger. Ugh. Look at that rod just bent over. Doubled over. We're gaining on her now, though. There she is. Let's have a look at you. There you go. Yeah. She ain't a piggy, but it's a fight. And it's fun. All right, stay away from that ledge. Yeah. Oh. All right. Come on up, baby. There she is. Oh, I gotta take my gloves off here. Woohoo! All right. Let's hop in the water with her here. Get her flipped upside down. Oh man, perfect hook set. Grab that tail, there we go, yeah! Woo! I'll tell you what, they fight so good. Until you have them in, you just don't ever know. Let's get her measured. Oh, this one's legit like the same length. Hey, it's the same fish, no, i uh, Hook pops right out, guys, look at that. Look at that beast. So it's a basically another four and a half footer. Oh, so strong. There we go. <laughs> All right. There you go. Yes. 
Woo, that's two. That's two for me. Check that out. Another beautiful Idaho sunset right behind me. YouTube fam, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the recipe. And as always, I will see you in the next one.